Welcome to Gentle Yoga. We'll start today, we'll do something a little different. We're going to start in Shavasana, the classic pose that we use at the end of practice. We'll use it as our starting point. And if that's not comfortable for you, just choose a position that is. Sometimes this doesn't feel good in the lower back to lie flat. You might instead plant the soles of your feet and let your knees lean in towards each other. So get comfortable. If you want, close your eyes. Focusing on your breath to let it get deeper and slower. Feel your contact with the ground. The way the movements of your breath shift your body around and maybe change what's on the ground. different parts of the body, kind of lifting away from the floor and touching back down as your breath moves in and out. Scan your body and notice whatever other sensations are present for you aside from these things associated with the movement of the breath. What else is going on in that body of yours? Making particular note of anything you detect that you wish wasn't there. Any trouble spots? Making mental notes so that you can keep these places in mind during practice, exercising your choice to skip or modify any part of practice. Anytime your attention is drawn away by something, we were speaking before we started about how windy it is in Palm Springs today. And for example, there's a tree outside my patio that moves against the roof of the patio and makes noise. Whenever something draws your attention away from your body and your breathing, just gently redirect, come back to noticing your breath and observing what's going on in your body, taking care of yourself, finding your practice. If in addition to these intentions we'll share, you wish to set any intention of your own, you can go ahead and do so now. with our intentions in place. Let's take three deep cleansing breaths. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth with a sigh. Draw your heels in towards your butt. Let the soles of your feet rest on the mat. Cross your right ankle above your left knee. And scoot your foot over by the left edge of the mat. And let your legs fall to the right. And slowly bring your knees back to center. Wiggle your foot back to center line so your left foot's in line with your left hip. Reach your arms out to the sides. And we'll go the other way. Let your legs fall to the left. And you can turn your head to the right. See if you can keep your shoulders grounded.
Come on back up to center. And plant your right foot. Cross your left ankle above your right knee. Wiggle your right foot out to the right edge of the mat. And let your knees fall to the left. Take your time, bring your knees back to center, scoot your right foot back in, in line with your hip. Let your legs fall to the right and turn your head to the left. Bring everything back to center. Uncross your legs. Draw your knees towards your chest. Hug your knees. Rock side to side or roll in circles, massaging your back against the floor. Inhale, extend your arms and legs all the way out. Reach your hands away from your feet. Exhale, curl up in a ball again. And repeat that for a few more rounds of breath at your pace, using the whole inhale to open up and lengthen, the whole exhale to curl up and contract. And we'll make our way up to a seat. Two ways to get there. You might rock front to back, roll your spine along the floor. If that doesn't feel good, you can tip onto one hip, press your hand to the floor, use your arm to lever yourself up. Sit in a way that's comfortable for you. You don't have to sit exactly like this. Feel your contact with the floor. Think about the length of your spine to help you sit tall without being stiff or rigid. Bring your hands to the sides, rest your fingertips on the floor. Inhale, lift your left arm up alongside your ear. Exhale, reach to your right. Feel for length from your hip up through your fingertips. Let your head be wherever your neck feels comfortable. Inhale to bring yourself upright. Exhale, come into a twist. Left hand to the floor behind you. Right hand to your left leg. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, see about twisting some more. Working your way up from the waist. Exploring on each breath. If going a little further feels beneficial. Maybe just your fingertips are on the floor back there, helping you stay long in the spine. Let yourself unwind and come back to center. Inhale, raise your right arm. 
as you exhale, reach to the left. Inhale to come up. As you exhale, come into a twist to the right. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, invite deeper twisting. Let yourself unwind and come back to center. Rest your hands on your knees or thighs. Inhale, draw your heart forward, let your head tip back. Exhale, draw your heart back and let your head tip forward. Follow your breath a few more times. After your next exhale, sit up tall. Let's roll out the neck, let your chin come towards your chest. Slowly roll your ear towards your shoulder and look up and over to the other shoulder, circling as slowly as you like, maybe as slowly as you can stand. Challenge yourself to slow down more. When you finish the next circle, change direction. When you finish the next circle, lift your chin, look forward. Let's just take a simple forward fold, bring your hands to the floor in front of you and walk them out as far as you can. Don't even worry about the shape of the thing. Just walk your hands up as far as you can. Let your neck disengage and your head hang down and breathe into your lower back. Inhaling, walk your hands back in. Take your time to sit up again. 
tip to one hip and come up onto your hands and knees. Bring your hips above your knees, shoulders above your wrists, or behind your wrists if it's too much on your wrists to have your shoulders right above. Reach back with your left foot and press against the ball of your foot. With your next inhale, reach your right arm forward, thumb up, arm parallel to the ground. You can go further if you like. On an inhale, lift your left foot and reach straight back. If you want, bend your knee, reach back, see about taking a bind, grabbing your foot or ankle or pant leg, kicking against your hand, raising your knee and your chin. Release, come down. Inhale, bring your heart forward, let your head and tailbone go up. Exhale, bring your heart up, let your head and tail come down. Take two or three more rounds of breath with that. Cow and cat. Then come back to table. Reach back and press into the ball of your right foot. On an inhale, reach your left arm forward. On an inhale, pick your foot up, reach straight back if you like. And if you like, bend your knee, reach back <clears throat> and see about that bind. Release, lower down, take a few cow-cat breaths. Come back to table, step your left foot up between your hands, maybe you have blocks under your hands to ease, <clears throat> ease the transition. All right, need a sip of water. <laughs> Dry throat. Step your right foot up to meet your left. Hang out in your forward fold. You might keep your blocks or set them aside. Your hands can rest on the ground or the blocks or they can hang in the air. Sway back and forth, bend one leg, then the other. Arms heavy, head heavy. Gently nod your head. And shake your head. Inhale, lift up halfway, press your hands to the front of your legs. Feel for the crown of your head moving forward away from your tailbone. Exhale, relax down. Inhale, roll to standing, hands up overhead, palms touch. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Let your hands fall to your sides. Lift your left shoulder towards your ear. Slide it back and let it down. And your right shoulder up and back and down. Inhale, spread your wings. Exhale, reach for your shoulder blades and hug yourself. Bring your chin to your shoulder, let it roll down past your sternum and up to the other shoulder. And down past your sternum, up to where you started. 
Face front again. Inhale, open your arms. As you exhale, cross them the other way. Bring your chin towards your shoulder. Roll it down past your sternum and up to the other side. Down past your sternum and back up again. Face forward. Inhale, open up. Exhale, twist to the right. Take a couple full breaths. Inhale, face forward. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, face forward. Exhale, let your arms down. Inhale, your arms out and up overhead. Interlace your fingers, reach your palms up, look up towards your hands, lift up your heart. Inhale to bring yourself upright. Exhale, bend to the right, feel the length through both arms. Someone's joining us late. Now we'll let them in from the waiting room. Inhale back up through center and exhale to bend to the left. Inhale to come back up. Exhale to let your arms come down. Welcome, just in time for some salutations. Inhale, out and up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Step back to plank. You can let your knees down anytime we're in plank if a shorter plank works better for you. Hips come down in line with your knees and your shoulders in the longer plank or the shorter plank. Exhale, slowly lower all the way down. Keep your elbows in close by your body. Press into your hands, inhale, lift your head and chest to the height that's right for your lower back. Exhale, rock back up onto hands and knees. Curl your toes under. Press into your feet to lift your knees and press into your hands to lift your tail. Downward facing dog. Let's walk the dogs. Pedal your feet up and down. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step your feet up to your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, down. Step back to plank. On an exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, bring your heart forward to the height that's right for you. Exhale, back and up to downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, down. Step back to plank. On your exhale, lower. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, back and up. And take three cleansing breaths. Let your knees gently down. 
and make your way to child's pose for a minute or so. Very your child's pose, how are you like? Check in with your breath, check in with your body. Inhale, come forward and up to table. And let's just slide forward and come down onto our bellies. We're gonna do our routine here using the floor to help open the shoulders, maybe adding in hip opening and spinal twist. Reach your arms to the sides, arms down. Grab the floor with your right hand, walk your left hand in towards you pressing away from the floor. So you rock onto your right hip, pressing your right shoulder against the floor. Now that might seem like a lot, maybe that's enough. You could stay right there. If you wanted to go further, you can lift your left leg away from your right. You could let your heel drift back. If that feels okay and you wanna go further, you can bend your knee and just see what happens with the weight of your leg. So don't try to push your foot down. Just let the weight of your leg hang. See what gravity and breath might do here. Maybe the foot will touch down, maybe it won't. Maybe that's plenty to do, but if you want to go further, you could lift your left arm, left arm up and like an owl turning your head back and forth, rotate your arm in the shoulder socket, or you could bend your arm and bring the back of your hand to your lower back. You may or may not get snap, crackle, pop sounds, as I just did. I don't know if those reach the microphone or not. We have some sound effects happening here. If you have moved your left hand, take your time and bring it forward again so your hand is planted by your face and arm will stabilize you. And then really take your time to rewind the leg. Raise the foot, straighten the leg, bring the foot forward, close the legs. And walk your left hand back out, back onto your belly. You could rest on your chin or if that doesn't feel good, rest on one cheek for a few breaths. Check out the difference between your shoulders, one shoulder compared to the other, maybe one hip compared to the other. Check in with your lower back. And so I'm not facing away from the microphone. I'm gonna do a 180 before I do the other side. <laughs> Grab the floor with your left hand, lock your right hand in, press up onto your left hip, pressing your left shoulder to the floor and explore as you like, maybe that's enough. Maybe you raise your right leg and let your heel drift back. Maybe you bend your knee. See what the body wants to do. Just let gravity do it. Let your foot find the degree of openness that it seems to want there. 
You could keep your right hand here for stability, or if you want to explore further, you can rotate your arm in the socket, or you can try to half find and make it to the pole, as I've done. And take your time if you have moved your right hand, bring it forward again, use it to stabilize. And if you've moved your right leg, lift the foot, extend the leg, bring it forward, and lower it. And walk your right hand back out, rest on your chin or on one cheek. Turn your head forward if you're on one cheek, bring your hands in under your shoulders. Inhale, lift your head and chest, cobra or up dog. Rock back, pass through table, cross your ankles, walk your hands in towards your knees. You can roll over your ankles to come to a seat or tip onto one hip and swing your legs around. So we're all wind up sitting up with our legs extended forward and feet flex back. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold down over your legs. If your knees want to bend, let them bend. On the inhale, think of the crown of your head reaching forward. On the exhale, think of lowering down. Inhale, walk your hands up the front of your legs and sit up. Use your arms to nudge your legs apart. And to help bend your right leg, bring your right foot to your left leg. Pivot your torso towards your left foot. Flex your left foot back towards you. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold down over your leg. Reach your left arm out to the side and turn your head to the left. Turn your thumb towards the floor. Reach the back of your hand towards your right hip. Draw your left shoulder back. Extend your arm and bring your left hand back over by your right hand. Reach your right arm to the side, turn your head to the right. Turn your thumb down, reach for your left hip, draw your right shoulder back. Extend your arm, turn your thumb up, reach your arm up alongside your ear, reach your right hand overhead, put your left hand.
reach up and out and swing your arm across, bring your right hand to your left hand. Walk your hands up your leg and sit up. Let those arms help extend the right leg. Then the left leg, bring your left foot to your right leg. Pivot your torso, aim your sternum at your right foot and flex your right foot towards you. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull down. Reach your right arm to the side and turn your head to the right. Turn your thumb down, reach for your left hip, draw your right shoulder back. Extend your arm, bring the right hand back to the left hand. Reach your left arm out, turn your head to the left. Turn your thumb down, reach for your right hip, draw your left shoulder back. Extend your arm. Turn your thumb up, reach up alongside your head, left hand over towards the right hand. Slowly reach up and out again. Bring your left hand back to your right hand. Walk your hands up your leg and sit up. Extend the left leg a bit. Bring the soles of your feet together with a big space between your heels and your pelvis. Grab the floor reaching under your ankles or over your ankles and walk your hands forward using traction in your arms to come down and into this fold. Let your head come down, let your neck go. Breathe into your lower back. Walk your hands back, sit yourself up, bring your heels in as close as you can, interlace your fingers, grab your toes in your hands, wriggle on your seat, tilt your pelvis forward, inhale, lengthen up, exhale, hinging at the hips, fold forward with your spine long, maybe your elbows press down to the insides of your legs when the long spine isn't lowering anymore, let your head lower. Think of breathing into your hips.
Inhale, slowly sit up. Bring your hands to the outsides of your knees. Lift your knees towards each other. Press your hands on the floor out past your hips. Wiggle your feet out towards the edges of the mat and let your knees go back and forth. As your knees go to one side, you could turn your head to the other side. Bring your feet in closer, about hip width apart, lower down onto your back. So you wind up lying down with your heels as close to your butt as they'll go. You could put a block between your knees if you like, come in middle position, set your knees hip width apart. Pressing into the soles of your feet. Inhale, lift your hips up to come to bridge pose. If you want a deeper heart opener here, you might wriggle your shoulder blades towards each other and clasp your hands under you and extend your knuckles towards your heels. If you're clasping your hands, unclasp them. As you exhale, slowly let your hips come down. Explore, bridge at your own pace. Inhale to move up, exhale to come down. Take extra breaths at the top or at the bottom as you like. You could play with reaching higher or moving more slowly. You could repeat that fine. And when you've had enough up and down movements, you can play with supported bridge. If you like, maybe you want to keep going up and down. Otherwise, you can lift up, place a block under your sacrum, come down to rest on it. If you don't have blocks at home, you could use a foam roller. You could use throw pillows, folded blankets. If you have a spare yoga mat, a rolled up mat. Letting the prop do the work to trigger some release in your lower back and pelvis. Press into the soles of your feet. Inhale, lift your hips one last time. Remove the block. Exhale, slowly come down. As 
set those blocks well out of the way. Bring your knees towards your chest, grab your strap, run it under your feet, and hold one end in each hand. Reach your hands and feet up, lengthening arms and strap and legs. Point your toes at the ceiling. And point your toes towards your face. Let your feet relax. Slide your feet apart. Slide your feet together. Take your left foot out of the strap. Press the back of your left leg to the floor. Hold both parts of the strap with your left hand. Reach your right arm to the side. Draw your leg over to the left and turn your head to the right. Slowly bring your head and your limbs back to center. Take the strap in your right hand. Press your left hand to the front of your left hip. Let your limbs fall open to the right. Try not to let your pelvis roll. Try to keep the left hip down. Very gently, slowly, come back to center. Lift your left leg, step your left foot into the strap. Take your right foot out, press your right leg down. Reach your left arm to the side. Draw your leg to the right and turn your head to the left.
come slowly back to center. Take the strap with your left hand, press down on the front of your right hip, let your limbs fall open to the left. Nice and easy, come back to center. Raise your right leg, draw your knees in, set your strap aside, hug your knees, rock and roll to massage your back against the floor. Reach your feet up, reach your hands up to take hold of your legs or your feet. Play with bending and straightening your arms and legs. Invert for as long as you'd like. Whenever you feel complete, you can make your way to a resting pose of your choice. The Shavasana. To integrate the benefits of your practice. Find your comfortable stillness, whatever that might look like. As your breath gets deeper and slower, maybe just focusing on your breath or coming back to an intention you had set and reflecting upon it. Reflecting upon something else of your choosing or just letting your mind wander.
give yourself some deeper breaths. Begin to move around bit by bit. Taking your time to let your movements gradually get bigger and bigger. Moving mindfully. When you're ready, you can gently sit yourself up. Bring your hands to your heart. Thank you for sharing practice today. The light within me sees and honors that same light within each of you. Namaste.